Welcome to A Few Kissing Me. I appreciate you guys for stopping by here with me today on the 28th of May, 2023. It's 6.07 p.m. right now where I am. I appreciate you guys, all of you guys. Thank you guys so very much for rocking it here with me today and supporting me and helping me in this channel advance. Thank you guys so very much. If you've never been here before, um, I appreciate you also. And I do Oracle, I do Index, and I do three decks of Tarot, okay? So let's get to it. And um, yeah, I'm going to use this deck today. Let's see what energy we can pull from today. Hope you guys all had a lovely day today on this here Sunday. I just got off of work. So I'm going to get this read going here. I have a couple more to do after this one on my other channel before the end of the month. I'm trying to get all those lovelies out. And then go sit down somewhere and relax <laughs> one more time. All right, let's see what we get today. The number 15, it says karmic debt. She's crying there, releasing some tears. Not sure what this means, but let's tap into it. I've had it before, but let's tap into it. It says, do you believe in second chances? Well, the universe does. Not just in second chances, but third, fourth, and as many chances are needed for you to feel loved and fulfilled. The trick is that second chances are not always what you would expect. More often, a second chance comes in the form of finding yourself in a repeating pattern and realizing that you have the opportunity to make a better choice this time around. Karma gets a bad reputation. On the surface, it seems like a punishment or a balancing of the scales when debts incurred by past mistakes must be repaid. But karma is much deeper than that. It isn't random, but the direct result of self-destructive patterns that bring harm to yourself and sometimes others. When this card comes up in a reading, it is an opportunity to change these patterns and greet your mistakes with compassion and a desire to choose to choose empowerment over victimhood and responsibility over blame. It's easy to think your past is all you have or that you will spend the rest of your life making up for it. But the beauty of the future is that it's untainted and it can be whatever you choose. This card brings you a powerful message. Mistakes are something you do, not who you are. So remember, I am not my past. I am not my mistakes. I take these lessons with pure heart and abundant abundant gratitude. I am safe and I am loved. I know my ancestors, my guides, and angels are working with me, not against me. Yes, God loves you. He wants you to move forward in positivity and love. And um, you always have an opportunity to do better. Okay. Make a better choice. Different options. Make yeah, make a better choice. Pick different options to do it all over again. Okay, every day is a new day. We are not our past. When you learn from it, you move forward. One more time. Um, do not act like you don't know. <laughs> don't act like you don't know. One more time. 
I missed that. You like beer? It's your first pick, your first go to. God is good all the time. Let's see it. One fell on the floor. One more. You would have never thought, but yep, for sure. It's here for you. Yeah. This is a lot. I have one more little stack. I'll get like three, four cards from that one. Stay humble. One more time. Live in the now. Okay. All right, guys. Appreciate you. Yeah, yeah. Okay. You have changed my life. Let's push that down a little bit. Looking for better days. Maybe you need a day trip alone. Somebody wants to work with you. You listen to punk rock music a lot. You are crazy about them. Honesty is the only way. You're in control of this. An apology will settle it. Maybe like essential oils. You drive a Lexus or an Infinity. Sky's the limit. Backwards isn't progression. You're a diamond in the rough, girl. By Anthony Hamilton. On the next level, you are. Maybe you're a doctor or a nurse. I belong to you. And I give all my love to you. That's Rome. Yeah, determined to make you theirs. Every time I see your face, it makes me want to sing. <laughs> all right. You carry yourself with dignity. When opportunity knocks, answer. They can't get on your level. <laughs> your heart chakra is opened here, running on green energy. Fire, 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 Leo, Aries, and Sagittarius. Just believe. Maybe you need to go dancing. Maybe your customer service representative. Okay. 
spa day all day. Brand new big family. They are insensitive. Netflix and chill at his place. You sing in a choir. La 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 la. Time to meditate. You're highly intrigued. Mm. You hold a lot of power. Comfortable at this time. Dream bigger. Maybe your color is blue. More healing may be needed. It's their karma. Mm. Answers are in your dreams. Maybe something happened at a football game. Maybe there's some anxious energy going on around you. Or are you feeling a little anxious at this time? You were notified by email. There's some aggressive energy out here also. Somebody has trust issues. Would you ever forgive me? History is your favorite subject. Maybe you have leather car seats. And uh, pay close attention, okay, to the things that are just going on around you, just period, okay? So, <clears throat> said your color is blue, huh? Hmm. Okay. Well, I guess I'll start with these. Okay. So, somebody wants to work with you. Netflix and chill at his place. Time to meditate. Fire, 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 Leo, Sag, and Aries. Go dancing. You're highly intrigued. You'll be notified by email. Maybe you're going to have a spa day all day. Maybe a customer service representative. Maybe you have leather car seats. Someone wants to know, would you ever forgive me? Honesty is the only way. You're in control of this. Okay, someone's determined to make you theirs. An apology will settle it. You hold a lot of power. You're a doctor or a nurse. There's some anxious energy out here and also some aggressive energy. You're highly intrigued. Did I say that? Mm, I think I did. So, uh, just believe and pay close attention. The sky is the limit. You're a diamond in the rough. Backwards isn't progression. They can't get on your level because you're on the next level. You're crazy about them. You sing in a choir. Um, it's their karma. I think I said that. Big family. Brand new. Dream bigger. Your answers are in your dreams. Maybe like essential oils. And uh, we drive a Lexus or an Infinity. Maybe you have leather car seats. History is your favorite subject. You're comfortable at this time. Someone has trust issues. More healing may be needed. Sky's the limit. A day trip alone. When opportunity knocks, answer. And maybe a football game is important somewhere. And they are insensitive. And they say, you have changed my life. And um, you carry yourself with dignity. And your heart chakra is opened. Running on green energy. And maybe listen to punk rock music a lot. <laughs> okay. And, uh, yeah. That's that. Did I say someone wants to know if you ever forgive them? Um, I don't know. Maybe I did. But anyway. Color is blue. You feel brand new. The sky's the limit. Pay close attention. All right. Here we go. One more time. Justice. Huh. Something's all the way balanced. Maybe even went to court. 
um, to square something away or, you know, get something settled. Okay, but it's totally taken care of now. And maybe you can move forward and forget about the past, whatever it was. So here I have the Hermit first, and that talks about going within and taking time for yourself. Maybe to go back and reflect on some of the things that you have done, that you feel that you want to try again, or try to find the right answer to, uh, you know, how you move forward or something of that nature. And uh, this is the hangman card. It says perspective. So you're very special. This is falling right there on your diamond in the rough. So you see things differently with the justice. You want to be fair. Um, you want to make sure that things are done the right way this time around or something like that. You've been thinking, it says time to meditate, or you've been meditating a lot, or something like that. Gaining your perspective. And here is the Two of Cups in reverse. And it's funny because you talk about, okay, something that you, like you're not your past. You know, things happen and you don't do it right the right time. I mean, the next time around. And so, when justice came out first, the first thing I thought about, like I said, I said it, you know, like maybe you went to court or something. You know, um, I hate to say it, but you know, like, what if it was like a divorce situation? You have right here, will you ever forgive me? You know, and you're the one that's in control, you know, and you carry yourself with dignity. You feel brand new. You feel like a new person or something like that. And you want to do things right the second time around. Um, even though I had some energy like that yesterday, like, you know, uh, want more of a loving foundation, so I don't know. <clears throat> this is some sort of continuation, and then it says down here it's their karma, maybe because they were insensitive. You see what I'm saying? Um, I'm not saying that you want them back in any type of way or anything like that, you're just trying to move on with life, looking for better days. So you being in this space now, just thinking. I don't know exactly what you want to say to anybody in particular. Um, but maybe you're getting up the courage to say something to somebody. Unless you were the one that was the one that wasn't so faithful or something like that. And maybe you want to know, you know, like you, you guys finalized whatever you need to finalize, but maybe you wanted to know if they'll accept your apology or something like that. Um, it is possible. I don't know. I just, I don't know. It just came to my mind. Because with the determination, like the determination to move forward, you know, but it's also talking about gaining courage. So, I don't know. to say you're sorry, and sometimes that could that could take a lot of courage. 
you know, um, admitting that you were wrong and apologizing or saying the right words, you know, being accountable. So, with the temperance in reverse, like I said, you could very so well been, have been or had been the person that maybe was in a state of uh, I don't want to just say unbalanced but in a state of you know uh, some sort of chaos or turmoil or something you know to where things just look <laughs> Excuse me, guys. We're completely unbalanced. You know, and that's why you had to go within to reflect or something like that. Or you you had to take your time to go within because you still felt like there was some unbalanced energy somewhere in your life. And maybe you want to gain the courage to go and talk to somebody about that. You know, now that you've gotten your life squared away with this other person and you've moved forward, whichever way, if you were the person that caused it or if they were the person that caused it. Like have aggressive, maybe they were aggressive and now you're you're like unbalanced, feeling a little anxious because you don't really know like how to move forward with your life or you know what to do next or something like that. So here's the king of swords. Hmm. So here he has his sword up. He's trying to gain the courage to say what he needs to say. And here the King of Swords is down. Like you don't, you, you're still trying to gain the courage. Like you know how you feel about things, but you don't want to talk about something right now at this moment. I don't know why. Maybe it didn't come in reverse. But you're like um, a very honest person. You say what's on your mind. All right. Honesty is the only way. And you've been thinking a long time about your life or your future or something right now. You do carry yourself with dignity. You care about how others perceive you. I'm imagining, you know. Um, hmm. And it says you hold a lot of power and authority. So I don't know what kind of job you have. Wouldn't that be something if you were a judge? Hmm. And you speak your mind all the time. That'd be interesting. <laughs> And maybe from time to time, you just have to go and reflect and think. Because you have a lot of cases or something that involve divorce, you know. And you have to think before you speak because things are always unbalanced. <laughs> that would be very inter interesting. I don't even have a judge out here, like, for a profession. Probably think there's no judge that would watch if you kiss in me. <laughs> I don't know. I'm really kind of trying to find it right now. It's still right. Interesting. Okay. No, no. I just want one card here so I can try to hone in on what I see.
This car is gonna drive me insane, okay? Okay. There we go. Okay, five of swords in reverse. So you'll never feel defeated because you you're very intelligent. So there's nothing that really can get past you, especially when you go within and you think the way that you do. Hmm. I don't think you're anxious at all if you're this king of swords. Um, mm. Look at there. Again, in reverse, underneath is two of cups. So, um, coffee in the background, a little reggae artist. He said, is it too late for your love? I don't know. But you are not your past situations. There's somebody here that you are not in love with anymore. And it was settled. Maybe. <sighs> Oof. Or maybe... Maybe that, maybe it's not settled, okay? Maybe you've just been going with them because you're not in love with this person anymore. And you're trying to gain up the courage to speak to them about it because it's unbalanced. And you want everything to be balanced because that's who you are. You're very legit, you're focused, and that's that. Hmm. Boy, this burden energy. Their their love is burdensome. Whatever they do, they're a burden. You're looking for better days. You need a day alone, a trip alone. They can't get on your level, huh? Mm. Here you have the Wheel of Fortune. So things are moving your way. But here the devil comes out as you're in your state of thought. So I don't know what that really means. I don't know if that means you're about to... Hmm. As soon as I was about to say something, I heard it back. You're trying to get your life balanced, so be aware. There's going to be a lot of people that's going to try to come in because they feel the, that energy, you know, when you don't have anybody. You know, you can be a hermit all day and night, but just be careful. There's somebody probably watching you already, and they're highly intrigued by what they see. Or they know your scenario or something like that. Waiting to just jump in. Okay. So the world. I believe that, like I said, you're a very intelligent individual. And um, maybe they can't get on your level. You know, or just whatever. However, it just didn't work. They're a burden and you're like fully aligned, chakra down. Understand a lot about a lot. And... I don't know. It just didn't work out. And these three come out in reverse. 
So here are the king of wands. So what I'm getting from that is like you weren't out there playing around. You were trying to be very serious. And maybe this person didn't have much going on for themselves with the queen of uh, pentacles in reverse. And then here, page of wands, exploration is like there was no growth. There was no uh, adventure. There was no... What's another word, guys? You say it. There it is. Okay. <laughs> so we're at the bottom. It's for it is. You you want things to be smooth, stable, and that's that. So yeah, you're moving forward. You're not looking at your life like um, all is failed. It's just that you're going to make better choices next time around. And um you know, just a part of your story. And maybe there were times when you guys had disagreements and you could have maybe been a little aggressive with your speech or something like that. I mean, you know, and maybe you had to realize, you know, you, you don't want to be like that or something like that. Even when people push you to those limits. You know, you want to try to always keep your composure and walk away and let them look like the fool, you know, or the um, ignorant one or whatever, you know, and then or feel like that in the end, not just look, but feel like that, especially if you know better, you know, so however the case, here's a second that back, let's get it going. One more time. King of Pentacles. So you're there like I have my money, I'm intelligent, I'm doing things, I want to move, I want to, you know, see things, take many adventures, enjoy my adventure called life, okay, I want nothing but love and abundance, and I'm not here for games, I want someone that's going to be here for the long haul. You want something that's passionate and true. So, wow. But all you have is Ten of Wands. But again, the Ten of Wands is right underneath there. This person doesn't have much going on for themselves. But I don't know exactly why you got involved with them. Um, I don't know. Maybe it was at first just, you know, like yesterday, just a sexual attraction. They were very attractive, something like that, but they're not motivated, you know. Look at here, wow. God dang it, uh, Here's the Guardian of Swords, which is the Knight of Swords, which is right here. Finding the courage to tell this person. Ooh, with the devil right here and the devil again right here. Getting the courage to tell this person that, you know, it's time for you to move on. Regardless if they want to know you ever forgive me, apology will settle it. Or whatever. It's just, you know, you may be crazy about them, but you're not going to fall into, keep falling into their traps or something like that. And there is judgment. 
the bottom. So maybe, like I said, maybe you haven't spoke about this just yet, okay? Because of the hermit, you're going within to reflect first. To, um, what was the second part? Oh, right, with the hangman. You went within to think. So you haven't spoke to this person just yet. This is the last day, you guys. If you're still here with me, thank you so very much. I appreciate you guys. I really do. Just want you to know that. Thank you so very much for being here with me. And uh, love you. Thank you. Appreciate all the love and the support that you guys show me in this channel. This is the last day. We'll see you again. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. Please and thank you. And of course, only if you like. I appreciate it all. So here we go. Let's see what we get. One more time. There's a hangman again. So yeah, you've been doing a lot of thinking about how this really isn't aligned properly you know maybe like a, just like yesterday i think it's more of a runoff from yesterday in a sense you know um this person doesn't have a lot of passion or a lot of drive okay and you realize that they just really aren't for you So, yeah, the justice is you wanting things to be right. So, here with the strength. You're very strong. You're very strong. And you are moving forward one step at a time. Even as hard as it may be. Because you may be crazy about them. King of Swords. King of Swords. Okay. Answers in your dreams. Maybe she wasn't in your dream. Time to dream bigger. They need to dream bigger. Okay. Sky's the limit. Is you're the star. You are the star, figures. Don't forget it. Okay. I think there's a whole bunch of cards that just flew out, so you're very loving, and I don't think you want to go forward, you don't have any vision or any sight with this person, okay, and then you have here, the two of pentacles, looking at where you've been, where you're going, I mean, where you've been, where you're at, where you're going, and you want love, and you want to be someone's husband, that's what you're ready for, you're ready for a life. You want a big family, okay? You want to be happy. You want to be fulfilled. And this person doesn't bring that to you. And that's unfortunate. But, you know, like I said, we, we make mistakes, you know? And that's not, you know, they're for a reason. So we can, we're given another opportunity. And this time around, make sure that your opportunity, you know, that you don't fail yourself, basically, you know? Like, just remember what you don't want to step into you don't want to just lust after somebody because you know more than likely they'll end up somebody that is not going to align with you the right way um, in terms of success you know family and stuff like that so all right if you guys you take care of yourself and i'll see you next time bye